Hello everybody and welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Today I'll show you how to set up a free-to-play account from start to finish. And I'll also get to show you a little bit of how bad my luck actually is. So the first thing that you're going to want to look at is your solo mode. When you come to solo mode, you will see quite a few options. So the one we're looking at today is Dual Strategy. In Dual Strategy, you'll see these normal missions that come with staple cards that are free, awesome to use. But up here is where you will see the tutorial missions. Now these tutorial missions are going to show you how to Synchro Summon, Exceed Summon, Pendulum Summon, and Link Summon. Completing any one of these will get you 600 gems, plus complete your lifetime missions which we can show you after this. And just, as you can see, these are very simple tutorials. They run you through every little bit of it. They don't let you mess up. They don't let you go off the beaten path. You just follow along with whatever it's telling you to do. So in this duel, we simply synchro summon, attack for lethal. No problem. Now finishing that mission will not only give us 600 gems, but if we go back to our lifetime missions, you can see it also unlocked um, some SR material, will also lead into 500 gems, couple hundred gems, UR materials, there's a lot of missions here for the solo mode. So now we're going to go into and we're going to look at buying packs. Now. The question you might have coming right in is, what do I buy? Well, over here on the right, you will see bundle deals. In the bundle deals, you can see, they come with one guaranteed UR and um, some master packs. I don't remember how many it is. Um, we'll go ahead, we'll buy this one. This will be useful for our deck going forward. And I can show you what that looks like. So it's 10 packs of Master Packs, which can contain any card in the whole game. Um, typically, that's what my look looks like. <laughs> but we'll skip the rest of the packs. You can see we got a UR, a few SRs. Nothing too special, but um, you can actually use these to obtain the cards you really want. Just gonna fast forward a little bit here. We're also going to need this solemn judgment for the deck I would like to build. So we'll go ahead and open ten more packs. So you see, we get our get our cards from the pack and our guaranteed solemn judgment, and ooh, we actually pulled a royal rare. It's useless, but it's pretty. So, yep, another. Uh, Lackluster pool there. Really not very great. It's a lot of SRs, but not enough URs. So now you'll want to take those materials and you can go into your deck editor. Now in the deck editor, one of the first things I recommend you do is go ahead and dismantle all extra cards. These are going to get you a few uh, normal and rare card points um, for just filling in your, your decks. Uh, that'll break down any card um, over the three total that you could play in a deck. Um, so here, we're just going to take some of the URs we don't need. We don't need three Nibiru. Um, hmm, a little hint. Uh, we don't need this. These are from when I first started the account. Burned all my gems on trash. <laughs> so we'll just speed through. Load up everything you don't need. Uh, it's really not that important. So then, once you have them all selected here, just go ahead and click Dismantle. That'll get you all the card points you'll need going forward. So you can see we get 560 SR. It's at 175 UR. It's really not much. Typically on a fresh account, you'll get a little more than that. Uh, here, I'll just go ahead and skip forward. We're going to break down a bunch of N and R's. You can see I have 
tons of points up in the top now. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to build the deck. Um, I'm not going to go super into detail on this one, but I'm going to I'm going to tell you that you want to go for your core first. So here I'll show you an altergeist core, real easy. Uh, you know, three of this, three of that, two of this, two of that. Um, I can break it down a little bit more for you. We'll do that before we jump into the rank duels. But um, yeah, that's about what the core of my deck looks like. So I'll go ahead and fill this in with a bunch of random crap now. You can see we just added some draw spells, some of the URs that I already have, um, some back row cards, generic trap cards. And we go ahead and just click batch generate. So this will just fill in every card that you don't have from your deck. I prefer doing this as opposed to crafting each individual card and whoo, that's another royal finish on this account which is crazy and this one's actually really nice it's one of my favorite cards in the whole deck so very satisfying and now i'm just uh filling in the extra deck so that we can use our pot of extravagance i just pick some generic ones that I'm never ever going to summon. <laughs> and uh, you can see as we craft cards, we actually unlock these secret packs. Um, we'll go ahead and open one up. It's just uh, one free pack. They're usually nothing too amazing. But um, hey, a Droll and Lockbird is actually pretty good. So, I mean, if you can get one high rarity card out of it, it's great. Um, so now we're uh, going to go ahead and jump right into ranked with this scuff deck. See what happens. Um, so I'll run through a little bit of how this deck actually works now for you. Um, Altergeist is a control deck that revolves around using trap cards to control the environment. And uh, has a little bit of combo potential to it as well, which you will see in this tool. So we open up, and it is the GOAT of hands. So Cosmic Cyclone is for those back row decks. We've got Come Pulse, bounce a card back to the hand, and Multi Faker, which is the strongest card of the whole deck. So at this point, I can't actually tell if I'm facing a starter deck or an actual deck. But we're going to combo up anyway. So anytime you activate a trap card, Multi Faker will summon himself from the hand. Typically, we go for the Soka Fist, but we're going to go for the Meliuseek. Uh, Meliuseek, when you send it to the graveyard, will let you search any card. So we go Hextia, search Marionette, our Royal Rare. Woohoo! And um, you can see Altergeist, believe it or not, has some combos to it. This is a fun little interaction. Yeah. Marionette, summon Multi Faker, Multi Faker, summon Marionette, another Hextia. And we'll go ahead and attack. Uh, this deck can be quite um, oppressive, honestly. Uh, they don't know what they're playing and they let it go on for one turn too long. This deck can just generate resources at such an incredible rate. Here you see we activate, summon, summon, bounce, bring our multi faker back to the hand. This is the typical play you want to do with your multi faker. And uh, here we'll draw a card and get the scoop. Um, that is how a lot of your duels are going to end with this deck. <laughs> Just to make sure I wasn't facing a complete noob like that. Uh, I went and checked his deck, and he's playing some kind of Karibo, Marshmallow, War Rock, Power of the Guardians. Can almost definitely tell this guy came from Duel Links, which is funny because so did I. <laughs> uh, so now, after we've done some of that, it's always important to come in and clear your lifetime missions. 
So I had a ton from earlier, and I've actually completed all the solo duels on this uh, in the cut. So you see it gives me a ton of gems, and um, we're actually going to go ahead and buy some packs. Now, on this account, um, Altergeist is so easy to make, I don't bother going into the pack. Um, but something I have been interested in learning how to play is Runic. Um, I know it's a little toxic and it's probably going to get hit pretty hard, but I love playing cards with my hand. So we're going to go ahead and buy some packs. Oh. Okay. A single you are. Not great. Next pack. <gasps> and and two. Granted, they're ones I want, but only only two. Let's try the next pack. Wow. <laughs> and the next pack? Oh, it's just that one guaranteed you are. And it's a copy of another pack. Uh, and once again, a single you are. So that is the display of exactly how bad my luck has been on this account. It's really the worst luck I've ever encountered on any account. Um, I've probably started about 10 free-to-play accounts on Yu-Gi-Oh! When I get my capture card, I can show you some of those other accounts, but... Ah, oh, well, it's really bad. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll uh, dismantle all our extra cards. Let's go ahead and skip through this part again. And it's <laughs> almost nothing. It's almost comical how bad this actually is. So, <laughs> yeah. That's uh, it for today's video. If you liked the video, like, comment, follow. Uh, I have a part two coming up very soon. The redemption arc. See if we can take this unlucky account and turn it into something useful. Thanks again, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.